Okay, hope everybody's doing well. I am just really struggling to make content, and I know a lot of YouTubers that have not made videos in a very long time. It's difficult to make content. But one of the things that I have learned over the years is that uh, duplicate content is not bad because numerous other people have not seen your videos from 10, 15 years ago or what have you. And so it's a good opportunity to revisit another collection and ask questions and get other people's input if they so choose to put down there. Nine times out of ten I, I get people who said nice video or thanks for sharing or, or that those are cool autographs or this and that and the other thing. But either they have no knowledge of what I'm talking about or they just don't want to share their experiences or they don't have any experiences. So what do I do with this English photograph here? Well I'm going to show off some uh, UK autographs here and talk about my experience with them. So back in the day before you know I you have to realize that my YouTube experience is different than a lot of the current YouTubers. A lot of the current YouTubers that do TTM do or sports only or they do a few celebrities here and there and go to Star Tiger and do that sort of thing. But see I was following other people's leads here and a lot of people were using Autograph World. Um, they were doing other things that I didn't quite understand. And once I started to figure out to un and understood those and started figuring things out, these people started disappearing on off of YouTube fast than you could count, you know, just what, what the heck's going on here? Everybody's just leaving, disappearing. So all the autograph experts and all the other people have just gone by the wayside. And I learned so much from these people. In fact, it caused me to get to learn my own things and, and figure out my own, um, you know, path and destiny, like wherever this bus is going. And what's really cool is that, um, so I'd go to eBay and then a lot of people would be looking for autographs and that sort of thing and I was double checking doing my homework and making sure that these I did not have Star Tiger back then so I had to do everything without that so I would go to eBay and try to be high bidder on pictures from the UK or Germany or whatever and sometimes it was auctioned from Germany and sometimes it was purchased but you know how that went England basically does not use the old stamps that they have so I can't go to eBay and purchase stamps because now I have to pay double or triple for my postage and that seems really ridiculous so what do I do send three dollar bills or a two and a three or two and a one in a, in a in a package and hope it comes back and then television shows like EastEnders um, and I use that as an excuse because EastEnders were always uh, really amazing uh, to their fans and they would give you know autographed photos back they had signed cast cards there's hundreds and hundreds of those you can collect from way back in the old days and I'll show you some of those shortly here but I went to Star Tiger here and um, and I, I didn't have Star Tiger at the time so I just you know found EastEnders and found out that you could send you know and and you didn't necessarily have to have return postage in some cases so I did did send and sometimes I didn't as a test but you see here's a care of EastEnders I don't know if that's still a thing anymore but you see um, 12121 um, and 31721 55 days they got a whole bunch of signed pictures I guess they just said can I have whatever you have I don't know but that's the last person that said anything about EastEnders so I don't know if that's a thing or not and again Germany's doors have completely closed closed all the opportunities I went to eBay here um, and I was looking up EastEnders here and pretty much everything is $17 for shipping on anything anything $17 for shipping here's $15 for shipping for Rita Simons autograph photo card uh, of uh, so here's one here um, let's see if I can find one here so you know some of them will be inscribed to somebody and someone will you have to just be very careful here oops try to get the whole image here but there's Rita Simons right there. I don't know a whole lot about EastEnders, but I use that as an excuse to get, you know, fairly inexpensive um, autographs from the UK without having to go through an eBay seller, if that makes sense. So that's just one I just looked up there. But again, the shipping is absolutely just atrocious anymore. You know, just for a few things that weigh very little because of, you know, the valuation and the costs and all that. Again, eleven twenty-five for something. And again, these were ones that all people got for free and next to nothing. So I don't want to spend 25 bucks or $30 on one autograph that, you know, is, is listed on eBay every day of the week. So I'll show you some photographs here. I have one of these catch-all binders here, very, very nice binder here, um, vinyl or leather, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll try to pull out, I have to get all the pages because it's such a large binder here. Um, 
well, I was going to show you that one there, but that's for another day. I'm trying to get all my UK autographs out of here. And I made a very nice collection. I have not seen anybody do this whatsoever. Zero people. Zero. Okay, so the, let's grab, let's see, how far does it go? It goes to about, let's see, I put it to right there. Okay, so these are ones I purchased way in the old days. Let me get a bit different backdrop here because this white is not going to work too well. I've got to take my time on this particular video here and do a proper job here. So this is Gavin Esler, I believe. And I'm not exactly sure the whole deal of it. He was a newscaster, and I was collecting newscasters. And I think this is, might have been one that, um, I don't know if somebody had made this, or this was one that the, uh, the um, studio sent out. But I signed in pen, Gavin Esler, and he was on BBC uh, Newsnight. So I found the logo for BBC Newsnight and printed that out and put this. And I used the old-fashioned photo corners here. So I put this in a page in a binder. And I just thought that was very, very cool. This was very, very dirt cheap on eBay. It was something like 2 or 3 not even $4. I said, you know what, that's cool. I don't know what he's doing anymore, but I just, I figured he was, you know... Uh, a reporter and I thought that was cool and I was going to print this out and that just looked really sick really cool then this one here is and I've got to remember that um this is the guy that played the dad on my family so if you know he kind of reminded me of Tim Allen a little bit in this picture here um, somebody probably got it via the studio or what have you um, but and I can't think of his name right now if anybody remembers here it was hilarious show. He played a dentist and he was quite the jerkweed um, in, in some cases, you know, and, and the family was, it was a dysfunctional family in the UK and I just thought it was a hilarious show. I got to watch that on PBS, you know, that's when PBS used to be good. Um, it's all split up into different channels now. It's kind of irritating right now. Um, lots of uh, programming I don't really particularly care for, but I just thought that was cool. And and I knew who he was, and other people didn't. See, what was common or not super valuable in the UK was valuable to me because I couldn't get it here. You know, so I had to do whatever. And sometimes I get outbid once or twice. Um, one of my favorite shows of all time on, on the uh, BBC was Last of the Summer Wine. Now, if you remember um, Cato, this guy played Cato, um, Bert... Uh, uh, Quauk, I don't know, Quu, I don't know how to sp spell that there. Best wishes, Bert, and uh, he played Ent Whistle and Last of the Summer Wine. And again, that was just a show about old retired seniors that just had nothing to, better to do than kind of uh, play uh, hooky and do shenanigans and stuff up and down the, the countryside in the middle of nowhere. It's just a funny show. And it was really cool because it took a bunch of actors that, you know, probably should have been retired more or less, but they just, you know, starred in a show. And I thought that was really cool. So I super collected these cards here. He since passed away, but he played Cato in the um, uh, Peter Sellers um, uh, Pink Panther movies, I do believe. Uh, so there was that one. Now this one here, this is very cool because I I used a bunch of ancient UK postage. This is postage I was able to source myself in the good old days where you could use the old stamps of the Queen. And so this is to um, to me from Brian Murphy in Last of the Summer Wine. I think he is deceased as well. Almost the entire cast is since deceased. There's a couple of young ones there. I want to say young ones. They're in their 70s or 80s. But I believe he's deceased. And I just thought that was one of the coolest things ever. And I just love these UK cast cards. They're just cool. And the USA has nothing like that because the USA is too good for that, you know. Some some uh, celebrities are really good to their fans. This one I had to bu uh, buy on eBay. And I, you know, I found a couple examples here. These things are just going to be absolutely atrocious. I haven't looked at the values. This is Juliet Kaplan and Robert Fife. And, and Robert Fife was always sneaking around the corner because he had um, a girlfriend on the side, Marina. Oh, Marina, you know. And then, then he, and then she would always, and he would always be crashing on his bicycle and doing all kinds of crazy things. I just thought that was really, really cool. So it's a dual signed one. More than likely, these are legit here. Um, then we have Jake Wood. 
and unfortunately Jake Woods signed in kind of a dark spot there. And that's when I wasn't really caring, you know, about the actual, you know, displayability of the autograph. I just wanted the actual signature. So here's Jake Wood, and I want to say that he was the original Geico Gecko voice. It's different now. Jake Wood is right there, some right here, and again, that's, uh, but it's an, on an EastEnders card here. And again, I had to have that. I just don't really know much about EastEnders other than it's a, a long-running soap, you know, went on forever and ever and ever and ever. So there's that one there. Now this one here, I don't think I had an envelope or had saved it. I don't really know. I don't save every envelope. And this is a uh, Sean... Uh, Sean, I it's S I A N, so I don't know if it's Sean, Sean Lloyd or Sean Lloyd, um, but she was a weather weather person on on ITV, and so I I am um, I can't remember if it was an email request back in the day when you could do that. It's really hard to find you know um, a concise list of these types of things, but sunny days Henry. Xion, and then it's just the X there, or whatever. So a lot of people just sign with their first name there. But I just thought that was a fun little request there. That was really neat to have there. And then this is Philippa Hall for Sky News. And I think that was probably one I picked up on eBay. It must have been a buy it now or something. It was dirt cheap. You know, again, some of these people were just not, you know, the top names here. So I just thought that was a very cool one to pick up here. And a few more here. And then um, we have Nicholas, um, oh, I can't think of his name right now. Oh, Nicholas Smith. And Nicholas Smith looks very, very old in this picture, but if you remember, um, Are You Being Served? And Nicholas Smith played Mr. Rumbold in, in um, Are You Being Served? And um, I don't know what this one was for. Maybe it was for Last of the Summer one. I have no idea, but another cast-type card there. And best wishes. You know, it never, you never ceases. You know that somebody might have erased the pre or the um, signed name on there. But a lot of times these were just, you know, um, already pre-signed from other. You have to be careful because some of them were not signed and actually signed. But in the light here, you can see where the pen stops and and dots and that sort of thing. So again, he's another one that's deceased here. And then, um, well, I guess we have. Uh, we have, uh, this is off the side, but old Ed Asner there, and I just thought it was, this is, again, this is how creative I used to be because everybody back in the day was a little more creative, it's now in a cut and paste world, it's really pretty lame, you know, it's really annoying. Um, in some cases. I'm polite to everyone, but, you know, I wish people would think outside of the box, and they just don't do that anymore. So my videos are kind of lackluster compared to what they used to be. But I just thought this was really awesome because I had Ed Asner pointing to a television set, which I inserted into the picture here, and I made it look like he was watching Mary Tyler Moore there. So I threw, that's a little Easter egg there. He kind of smudged it there, but it doesn't matter. Again, all these people are deceased, all of them. Well, I'm not the not the newscaster, so at least I hope not. Um, and then we'll get a couple more here. And then again, people are just sending the you know the the dummy images Google send out. Now this is Peter Salas, and it says Graham best wishes. I never dis never tried to get rid of the inscription there, but you know the only way I could get this one because Peter Salas was the voice in Wallace and Gromit. He since passed away, but he played Clegg in Last of the Summer Wine. So again, I super collected those. And um, and there he is right there. Peter Salas's autograph is right there. And again, back in the day when you learned that um, autographs that were inscribed to someone did not matter. It doesn't matter. Who cares? And I was one of the few people that was doing that. And a lot of people wish they probably had. You know, they just, they, they just, a lot of people were just losing out on things. Then this is Trevor Bannister. If you don't know Trevor Bannister, he was also in Last of the Summer Wine, but he also played Mr. Oh shoot, I can't think of it. Uh, Mr. Lucas in um, Are You Being Served? And so that is um, the aforementioned actor that I just uh, forgotten what his name was, Trevor Bannister. I believe that's Trevor Bannister. And uh, that was an auction. And it's probably to somebody, but I don't care who it is. But yeah, it says Trevor Bannister. I think that's what it says there. It's really hard to say. I see there. And we have John Inman. And a lot of these two are to Graham. You know, so Graham was getting. I, I tried to see if I could remove John Inman, and it just smudged there. So it doesn't matter to me at all. Because again, John Inman is deceased. I'm free! Uh, <laughs> no, I shouldn't have done that, but uh, um, that's that was his catchphrase there. 
and love him or hate him, that's, uh, that's, uh, he was a popular character on the BBC. Then we got a couple more here. Uh, we have, um, we have, this one's to Paul, and this is Wendy Richard. And again, Wendy Richard was on, um, Are You Being Served? And she played Miss Brahms, I think is what her name is, or Browns, I can't think, remember her name, but it's to Paul. We just can only hope that was, uh, autographed to Paul McCartney. Um, and Paul just got rid of his autograph. No, just probably Paul somebody, Paul Smith. Um, and then here's another guy. I cannot remember. He's he's kind of a semi-notable um, alumni of Coronation Street, I think. And another soap here. I think, I, I, I don't want to say it's East Center. I think that's Coronation Street. And William, I can't, I can't remember what his name was, but he, I think he has since deceased as well. And then we have this one here, and I don't know, but it's got a really crazy best wishes here, like like it was almost like signed um, at an event or something. Uh, I've never verified this Carrie Mulligan autograph, but I bought that for six or seven dollars back in the day. I just liked the image. I just thought that was kind of cool. I have absolutely no earthly clue if that's legit or not, but she's like a mega superstar now. So there's that one there. Again, these are things I've done at least, you know, 8, 10, 12 years ago or more. It's just absolutely just not so. And I don't see anybody providing the same quality of autographs. Here's another one here. This is Judy Dench, and everybody was sending out the same pictures of Judy Dench. But I found this Philippia, Philly, Philippia 1970. And I was trying to figure out what Judy Dench did in 1970, so I wrote a letter about that, and I I glued a um, I glued a, a sticker on there. I don't know. I don't. I think Judy Dench is. I don't remember. But for Henry Judy Dench, right there, and I just thought it was really neat to have this really awesome UK cover here, commemorating all this stuff here, and you know, because I said, you know what? I don't want a picture that was printed off the internet. I want this, and this cost me 10 cents at a stamp shop because there was somebody's address on there. So that was one of the coolest thing, really coolest things ever. So I think that's pretty much my UK collection. And there's a few more here that I need to hope to find one of these days. Let me just double check the binder while we're at it here. Um, actually, I have a few more here. So these are ones I bought from a guy that was in California. And um, these were mostly were, um, um, mostly were, um, Oh, and I don't know this guy's name here. I think this was a game show host or a news newscaster. Um, not really sure what his name was. He since way passed on a long time ago um, from a something. I don't necessarily want to get my stories mixed up, but uh, um, that was one. Again, this was to somebody. But again, I was buying these ancient, you know, cards that were autographed back in the 70s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And there was a guy out of California, and he just pulled up shop one day on eBay and gone. That was gone. And then, um, anybody remember Project Runway? I was one of the few people that ever wrote to one of the celebrities on there. I just thought this this young lady was really nice. And um, that's when I got all kinds of weird cape on it. Uh, to Henry, thanks for the amazing letter. And I have gotten her name already. She was just a really... Um, I don't know, just, these were just really awesome pictures. So I just, I wrote to this young lady and I forgot, again, it's been so long that I've just totally forgot about that. That's, you know, not English or anything here. Then I have another game show host here. And, um, I cannot, this is Michael, oh, I had written it down here somewhere. Michael, oh, you got to forgive me for some of these here. Um, best wish to somebody, best wishes. Michael, oh gosh, you know, I have just totally forgotten. I've drawn a blank here. Um, but again, that was another one I bought. And you're never going to find another one of those ever, 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 ever. And if you do, it's it's really ridiculously expensive. I'll show you a couple more autographs here. Um, again, this just shows, I and mean, I was just focusing on England mostly, and that, that game show one was another guy from the UK somewhere. <clears throat> Get this back together here. I don't want to make too long a video here. I can save that autograph for another day. Felicia Day used to sign autographs. She just had a very, very um, uh, basic autograph there. It's very, very hard to see there, but Felicia Day right there. I have one movie that she did. It's amazing how many people don't sign anymore since John passed away. John Considine is a guy that 
passed away. And I didn't realize how much TV he did. I just saw him recently in a television episode, but I just picked two random pictures. And then Peace and Good um, Fortune, John Considine. I just, that was one I made up there because I didn't have anything for him to sign. Um, just Let me just do a couple more pictures here. See if I can find it. Oh, there's my Lily Tomlin autograph. You don't need to see that right now. Just insane how many autographs that I've gotten over the years here. Um, I wonder if Chuck Woolery still still signs. I don't know. I got his autograph. You remember him from Wheel of Fortune? Again, everybody was doing one thing, and I was where they were where they were just going one way. I was going the other opposite direction here. You know, taking chances and buying stuff. And I said, you know, if the autographs are not legit, I like the pictures because they were cheap enough. Um, we got a couple more here. Let's see. I think we're just going to do these few here, and then we're going to finish up the video here. So, let's see. Let me get these out of here. Alright, so, we've got a couple here. This is Bob Newhart uh, from the Bob Newhart Show. And I just, you know, I didn't know anybody who had ever taken a screenshot of that particular image there. So I thought that was very, very cool here. And again, I've got this one here, this Motel 6 postcard here. Autographed by Tom Bodette. We'll leave the light on for you. That guy. That guy. And I went to eBay, and people will just get a picture of Tom Bodette or something. But I went and physically went to eBay, bought a Motel 6 postcard, and had him autographed it. I would have liked to find a newer one, you know, because this is like a super ancient one here. But I just thought that was very, very cool to do that. I might write to him again if I can find a more recent Motel 6 postcard here and just say, hey, could you sign this for me? He may not remember. Then I went and got Chuck Woolery's autograph. And again, Chuck Woolery, that's just a basic picture off of eBay. But I wanted one off of Wheel of Fortune, so I found a video that somebody uh, posted on YouTube and did a screen grab of it. And I said, you know what? That's a picture no one's ever going to have. No one. That's the only picture you're going to find of that one, you know, because unless you get an exact frame there. Again, there's another new, there's the other Newhart show, and there's Bob Newhart there. And then, of course, Ira Flato from Newton's Apple. I, that's the first customs I ever made in my entire lifetime. The first customs I've ever made. So I just thought that was very, very cool to get the Newton's Apple uh, Ira Flato. I tried writing other people from Newton's Apple on PBS, and I just get an RTS. It just says their address is bad, but you go to the website, and they haven't changed it. People leave up their websites and do absolutely nothing. Then I wanted to show you this one here. I could have got, gone and saw Eric Estrada recently in Portland, but I didn't. And this is just one that came in some sort of, and I'm pretty sure that's legit. Eric Estrada is a pretty good signer there. So I'm going to end up on Estrada. Hope you enjoyed that. This is a different type of video here showing some collections that um, almost none of the current YouTubers that watch my channel have ever seen those ever. Maybe Ed Whiskergriff saw some of those. Maybe Troy Rudder. Maybe Caleb's Cards. But those are the only three people that I can count on one hand. Maybe even Mike O. But those are the three, four people that would have ever seen those on, shown on my channel. Ever. And hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if, I, if there's a good way of me to getting any more autographs uh, from the UK or EastEnders. If you have any ideas of TV shows that are good um, places that I can send my uh, requests off to. Because I want to get back into that. Ho again, thank you for watching.